transaction code ME twenty one N. They will not going to ask you how you can able to add the freight charges, how you can able to add cash discounts, how you can able to add the price differences and all. They will not going to ask you any questions. They just ask you where you can based on which key you are entering the cash discount based on which key you are entering the uh, freight charges based on which key you are entering the um, goods receipt or invoice receipt and all they will just ask you based on which movement types and on they will just going to ask you these questions how you are assigning the accounts and on okay how you are assigning the accounts and all means what all of you you have transaction keys you have valuation areas so based on that thing only you, you will going to gather the information from the client only right whatever the accounts that they have defined okay you will going to enter it that's it right all of you so uh, our scenario is that can we include uh, taxes to the raw material inventory account, I mean goods receipt or invoice receipt account. And also, can we include the taxes for the freight charges? See, delivery charges also, you have to include the prices. I mean GST, that is taxes. How you can able to include it, all of you? So that is the thing we will going to see it. Now what you need to do is, ma'am, Go to the transaction code uh, ME21N. Go to the transaction code ME21N. Take out the vendor. Hmm. Same thing. Take out any stock. Okay, no issue all of you. So what is the quantity that we have taken? Six quantities we have, 9,000 rupees. Six nines are how much? 54,000 rupees, right? For this five charges, so we have added 3 percentage. That, that is 1 lakh, uh, sorry, 1,620 rupees. Now what we need to do is check the document and go to the uh, save button. And update the quantity click on OK item OK and click on the enter and go to the uh, check option. If it is OK, then post it. Hmm. Document is OK and post the document. That's it. OK, so if you want to see the document details and all you can able to use the MB03 transaction. Go to the transaction code MB03. 
and you can able to see the entry details and all. OK. Click on the enter. Go to the accounting documents. See all of you. There is a material document. There is an accounting document. OK, so you can able to see it. This is the choice that we have, right? Now what we need to do is go to the transaction code Miro. M I R O Miro. M I R O Miro. M I R O Miro. So now what we need to do is take out the purchase order. OK, now click on the enter. Now click on the enter and select the calculate tax. For this uh, 55,620 uh, rupees, we have to add taxes. OK, so select the calculate taxes also. Select the calculate tax and the tax amount is 2,224 rupees all of you. OK, so for the 55,620 rupees, um, I will show you one thing. Um, go to this uh, calculator, ma'am, for the 55,000, 620 rupees. First, calculate the 54,000 into 4%. Okay, so we are calculating the taxes for the GR goods receipt or invoice receipt. Okay, so 54,000 into 4% is how much? 54,000 into 4%. Okay, that is 2,160 rupees, all of you. 54,000, uh, uh, 2160, right? So 54,000, 56,000, uh, 120 rupees, right? 160 rupees. Mm, got it. So 54,000 plus 2160 is equal to how much all of you? 56,160 rupees. Okay, then next 1620. 52,000. Sorry, 56,160 rupees has been added. Okay, the next one 1620 into 4%. 1620 rupees into 4%. How much it will be? 64.8 uh, 1620 rupees into 4% will be 64.8 uh, okay so plus 1620 plus 1620 how much it will be 1684.8 rupees all of you okay 1000 684.8 okay now we got the clarity so now what we need to do is plus you can just do the plus ma'am 56160 56160 ah so, so now how much it will be all of you 57844 rupees 8044.8 rupees you have now what do you need to do? So you have to enter same cost in the amount column. OK, so go to the amount column. 57,000. Uh, copy that thing. And paste it here. Hmm. Click on the enter. Now the balance will be zero thing. You got my point right and go to the simulate option. Go to the simulate option. So in the simulate option, see all of you. For the GR or IR goods receipt or invoice receipt clearing, you have added the taxes. For the freight also, you have added the taxes. Okay, so what is the tax that we have right now? So for uh, 1,620 rupees, you have added the 64.8 rupees like this, right? Okay, so 64.8 rupees means what? 32. 4 and 32 4 that is 64.8 rupees right so that is why it will be going to add those things like this only okay i will take out this screenshot for you you will get a clarity so this is the way you can able to add in our own real 
long term business for the client business process and all you need to add the uh, tax taxes like this only all of you so then only the item will be posted so with the help of right charges with the help of taxes and all we are posting the document and this should be reflected in transaction code fbl 1n go to the transaction code yeah post it and go to the transaction code fbl 1n go to the transaction code fbl 1n uh, go to the continue option ma'am now see all of you how much it will be added 57844.8 rupees so go to the document overview so you can able to get it Hmm. This is the way. See, all of you, they will just ask you the entries. Okay, I mean entries based on like this. You have you have to be very much thorough with the uh, entries also. Okay, right. What we need to do is I'll go to the transaction code F dash fifty three and assign the amount F dash fifty three and clear the amount. So based on this thing only you can able to do it. All of you. Mm, paste it. Yes, that's it. Go to the process open items. <clears throat> Deselect those things. OK, go to the save button and save it. Mm, save the details. So this document has been posted and you can able to use the transaction for a real one and. OK, to see the details first of all. OK, this has been cleared. So this is the way you can able to add the taxes for your own uh, goods receipt or invoice receipt materials as well as for a clearing accounts also. OK. Can we include the taxes for the freight charges? Yes, you, you can able to include it. OK. So this is the way you can you have to do it all of you. So try to understand each and every scenario. Uh, 